Hello, this is Haku to Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-2887. I mean, oh, well, I cannot say numbers, apparently. We're going to be reading SCP-4287. <laughs> if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I have a number, SCP-4287. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-4287 is rated 1 resting run primary dressing berth in site in the Site 48 secondary break room and allowed a daily allotment of assorted prepackaged snack foods and fresh fruits from the adjacent cafeteria. Each afternoon, SCP-4287 is provided with one cosmopolitan cocktail. All proper office workers and high-end company firms should know their way around a proper mixed drink. You should know when an intern may become an agent who may need to make cocktails for their boss, date night guest, mother-in-law, girlfriend, sister, or undercover assassination target. Per my extensive research, the, cosmo the Cosmopolitan is a highly popular mixed drink. Full well, explanation in five pages of documentation available on request. Let's not read that. Due to SCP-4287's limited mobility, limited voluntary mobility, it is permitted free access to any areas within Site-48, so long as it remains localized to one Foundation facility and wears a tracking device. Level 2 personnel are permitted to and encouraged to pick up SCP-4287 and carry it around to assist with desired location changes. For increased efficiency, I assure you it is the best and most logical solution given my stature and range of dexterity. And to SCP-4287 has provided a finalized flight and for the replacement of recycling bins within Site-48 is to be allowed direct access to all recycling receptacles for proper or fecal disposal. Instances of SCP-4287-1 are to be deposited in the same on-site recycling receptacles. Description SCP-4287 is an adult male, a rock pigeon of average size and weight with blue-gray feathers and black banding around its backside. It refuses or is unable to take flight. SCP-4287 clearly displays a science of sentience though sapience. Sentience is not enough for my level of intelligence and communication. Does nobody know the difference between sentient and sapient anymore? As it is able to communicate verbally with the Foundation for Snow in fluent English, albeit it is first with typical non-anomalous pigeon behavior, including spontaneous defecation. It speaks in a Brooklyn accent. Oh, whoops! I've been giving it a pot touch English accent, kind of. Unless it is being directly interviewed by Foundation first now, at which time SP-48, 4287, and accent will change to a vaguely British received pronunciation. Accent. SCP-4287 has also been observed editing paper documentation by packing vigorously at the location of errors as a and fight and rushes to comment on. Said commentary manifests at the end page of the corresponding content. Based on re recorded interactions, SCP-4287 is highly skilled in industrial organization, office management, and clerical work consultation, and will freely offer these services to Foundation personnel regardless of whether or not they request its service. Actually looks like uh, like like for the document, it does have a posh English ex accent. Anyway. It is also capable of spontaneously manifesting in any boardroom within Site-48 and frequently makes use of this ability to disrupt board meetings, insisting on acting as a moderator for the discussion or identifying typos and grammatical errors on presentation materials. It is known that SCP-4287 is not capable of teleporting out of the boardrooms and must return to its previous its location by walking or being carried. SCP-4287 is also 
able to enormously consume large amount, large quantities of paper and cardstock material. Its waste, correspondingly, is composed of compressed dry paper material in the shape of pellets. Hereafter referred to as SCP-4287-1. Engines of SCP-4287-1 are propelled from SCP-4287's rear with sufficient force to cause immediate explosive decompression upon impact. I feel like this is unneeded information, but go off. <sighs> SCP-4287 was reportedly first discovered in the Site-48 court garden with a U.S. postage stamp affixed to its head. The image of the stamp featured a minimalist design of a human hand performing an obscene gesture with the caption text, To you, from you. A small snake design is rising on the, thir on the right third, third finger. Other them, SCP-4287-1. Interview excerpt following intake of SCP-4287. Interviewer, Researcher C. Edwards. Interviewee, SCP-4287. So, SCP-4287, how is it that you came to our facility? Well, a little birdie told me that you are in need of some management and organization assistance, so I convinced an intern to uh, bring me into the facility under the guise of being his SCP-4287 and wrote his head on for a great I have the green angle and emits a single SCP-4287 and one an instance. Seeing eye pigeon. This is hard to understand how to pronounce. Well, one must never. As before, two, it's in Bob's head and left it right multiple times. Else, one's uh, Orku, who important and associates, eh? It was in turn, yes, and. Janssen was in it. SCP-4287 begins flapping its wings in a violent and threatening manner as well as emitting multiple instances of SCP-4287 on the wall behind its perch. SCP-4287 and release out in normal or pigeon sounds. Researcher Edwards shifted slightly in her seat, exhibiting signs of minor discomfort. Addendum SCP-4287-2, partial list of site-wide policy changes involving SCP-4287. Allocation of at least 10 level 01 interns to provide specialized transportation assistance for P. Pigeon esque. I'm not sure what the esque stands for. I'm tentatively gonna guess that it might be Esquire, but I'm not really sure. Throughout destination areas of SCP 48. Accepted. The meal relocation of agent friendly foodstuffs from cafeteria A3 to the adjacent secondary break room. Routine reminders to foundation personnel making in use of affirmation areas that they are not to consume. Of items that do not belong to them and they have no claim to. Request denied. Your request involves the purchase and installation of a new refrigeration unit, which is not cost effective. However, we will place a sign directing people away from your food. For attached free free guardian observed walking paths with an SP. Within Site 48, recommend ending that the water and dispenser in the second floor back area of the corridor be relocated uh, to an area of greater employee traffic. Accepted. Due to the increase use of paper material present in recycling area 1, requisition of 10 Energy Star 
I am low energy 12 of what involves the immune cell to alleviate the potential fire risk. A cost analysis has been proved, uh, formed and it is concluded this investment will also reduce the overall energy cost of Site 48 by several hundred dollars per month. Please find said cost analysis document attached. Original acceptance, substance revision, and follow the fiscal department processing of 20 page cost analysis. It's department. Just had to check something. <sighs> I hereby I submit this requisition for three mobile recycling receptacles to increase the efficiency of SCP-482871 disposal. The current location of non-mobile recycling receptacles is highly inconvenient for the interns. Request denied. Your request involves the purchase of recycling receptacles, which we do not have sufficient space for. Additionally, it would not be cost effective. Dr. Er Erickson, the site director. I hereby submit this rebuttal. Without removal of recycling receptacles, there will be an increased admission of SCP-4287-1 in increasingly inconvenient locations. Personal response. Listen, that's what the interns are for, but I'll do you a favor. Official response. Your rebuttal has, has been accepted and considered, and after a deliberation, the board of directors has been has determined that it is not enough to sway our initial decision. We are prepared, however, to purchase one small mobile recycling receptacle. And that was SAP 4287. P Pigeon, I think Esquire. Still a bit iffy about that. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!